Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree, we've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Try to crack the safe. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Find anything interesting? Well-maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. What's that click? trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. We should follow up on the musician angle. He kept his stash close at hand.
revenue source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more, looks like a couple of months' supply. Army surplus again. Goldrick must have been moving contraband through the club. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. The young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo, or their knucklehead buddies Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries under Stonefura? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. <laughs> 